Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. First of all, a big thanks to all of you who are hitting that like button, adding a comment that uh, helps the channel a lot. So please keep doing it. I really appreciate you. As usual, we will start with the EURUSD. We are looking on the daily time frame. And as you see, I mentioned this level last week that it's going to be a key area for uh, the bears to defend. And um, yeah, if we uh, look left here, we know why this is an important uh, area up here. Sorry. Um, as you see here, this uh, very strong move to the downside habit from this area. And if we go back further left, we see there is a lot of trouble at this level. So last week there was attempts to break higher. They failed. Um, as you see, one time here, one time here. And we had this little range and now they broke the range to the downside. Now, if we look left here, there is not much until we reach this area or back to the bottom down here and uh, the reason i have this level and not this level because also if we uh, look further left there is um here many times the market used this level as both uh, support and resistance so all in all the euro failed to break higher did an impulse correction and yet another impulse so my expectations here are uh, the same that we might see further downside first target gonna be this area here in my opinion so any retest back toward these areas with a failure to break higher i'm looking for a one leg uh, to the downside like this and if they break below this one here the next area gonna be down here uh, at this level as a target so we have two targets uh, to the downside retest and then down here also if they break then a continuation lower that's my plan for this market sterling almost the same scenario failed to break higher checking the daily time frame you see uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see it better um so um we had failure failure with a huge rejection on thursday and on friday also another failure with the lower high now this still inside this range and we will see that better in the uh, on the lower time frame here on the four hour yeah you see it clearly what range i'm talking about this still inside this range nothing new here as for now keep playing this range waiting for a breakout that is the main plan here so as far as they are bouncing around inside this range we should sell high buy low waiting for a break to the downside or a break higher i think the break to the downside is the most uh, thing that might happen in my opinion so uh, i'm looking for a break to the downside or another failure here if it happens with a correction that fails to break higher i'm looking to sell back down after that a continuation if the break happened there as well out of the range usd um checking the daily time frame they did tag previous high here which is a key area to then see them uh, failing to move further up especially after that uh, the stock market uh, moved to the downside so if we check the s p 500 you see that they did break out of the range as well after this double top and failure to move higher they broke lower and um, that's when uh, we saw uh, usd jappy also breaking to the downside as a safe haven um, checking the one hour time frame you see that uh, they did break this trend line now and um, yeah for next week maybe a correction like this and then one more leg to the downside especially if you see the stock market still moving lower so this is uh, what i have to say about this market aussie failure to break higher also affected by the stock market uh, there was a very nice attempt here to push higher and then they failed totally back down uh, thursday and friday we had a continuation candle now if we go down to the four hour time frame you see it clearly here there was an a b c d and it was a retest of this uh, trend line as you see got retested here failed and then collapse to the downside also after that uh, very strong move to the downside here there was a lower high and then a continuation so for next week any break below this area here will signal further downside for the aussie okay 
USD CAD also holding the line here at this support level. Still no break below this, so they are still fighting. We have a little uh, bit of a range here going sideways for now. As far as this level is holding as support, it will still be a buy level. Nice uh, bullish engulfing candle on Thursday and a continuation ca candle on Friday. For our time frame, yeah, as you see here, this is still a good support level holding above this support level and above the, uh, the 200 moving average on the four hour and on the one hour we had an impulse that broke above these levels a correction and a higher low which is key here this higher low so i think there will be a potential continuation to the top of this range now which is um, up here this should be the next target for now and after that maybe the potential continuation if they break higher so for now as far as there is no break below these levels i'm looking for uh, continuations on this market and i would love to see a little bit of a correction something like this to happen that would be lovely if we get a correction and yet another higher low so we can start soon establish some kind of a trend line here looking for this continuation move to the upside in my opinion USD chief a little bit of a weakness now and a rejection from above there was attempts to break higher it is a very very choppy market so you need to be careful or maybe stay out stay away of this um, for now uh, it is uh, fighting to break higher and failing which is a, um, a good signal that the, the the bears are really trying hard here to to push this market down and in my opinion if they manage to break below this range here or the trend line there will be further downside especially if we keep seeing a weaker stock market this might uh, collapse to the downside actually but as far as they're holding above this trend line they might continue higher but they also need to break above this area uh, which seems to be a trouble level looking left they failed here they failed here they failed here they failed many times at this level to break higher so be aware of that gold nice strong push to the upside safe haven for inflation uh, and we know that uh, we've got uh, crazy inflation numbers from the us uh, the worst since 1982 um, the worst uh, inflation readings since 1982 and that's why we see gold uh, getting stronger still uh, trending to the upside broke above and closed above this previous high on the daily which is a strong signal checking the weekly time frame nice bullish engulfing candle with a break above which means next target is this previous high or this high up here um, so uh, very strong move nicely done here from the bulls i think it's time for a bit of a correction before next move to the upside and in my opinion the least uh, correction should be toward this area here before anticipating next move to the upside so do not chase this it will correct and uh, there is a big void in the price here so i think the correction might happen toward this area at least before the next leg to the upside in my opinion and oil still bullish uh, crazily bullish this market uh, another weekly candle that broke previous high and closed at uh, the top here now where we passed the 90 which was the level uh, that i said it could be a trouble area they did break above it still a very strongly bullish market with a continuation to the upside and actually i'm i'm a little bit um suspicious still saying i don't want to buy at these highs but the price keep pushing higher anyway so if you want to still want to buy this market uh, i think you need to 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 draw this kind of a trend line here and uh, buy those dips at the trend line as far as the market is trading above this trend line there will be a continuation to the upside okay if they break below the trend line and uh, make a lower high maybe a bit of a bit deeper correction to happen but as for now we are not seeing bigger corrections so after this we had this correction only to then seeing the market pushing further up uh, on friday so as you see the corrections are very very shallow for now no big corrections at all and uh, that's why i'm saying if uh, they keep holding above this trend line well keep buying that uh, trend line dips uh, that's the main idea here and uh, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye